Tilly Carrez is the release manager for OpenStack, and he is also the elected chair of the OpenStack Technical Committee, which is the group that determines the direction that OpenStack as a whole will go, and provides individual projects with guidance about their decisions. As such, he's the perfect person to give a wrap-up of the week at the project team's gathering, and give us some insight about what important decisions were made toward the Rocky release that we'll be seeing six months from now. So, we're at the end of the week. It's been a great project team's gathering. It's had lots of great conversations. And now to wrap things up, uh, we have Terry, who will be giving his impression of how things went. So, um, what do you think? How do you feel that this week has gone? Um, with the exception, of course, of the, the weather. <laughs> Well, yeah, the, the circumstances were pretty unique, I guess, uh, the, with, with the weather and the, the cancelling of the event in the, in the stadium. And I feel like the, the event team and the, the Polk Park and the Polk Park Hotel went out of their way to, to uh, allow uh, migration of most of the event in the, in the hotel here, even if it's obviously a bit of a camping camp now. Um, uh, I feel like we managed to still do a lot of things here. Um, the, I guess it, it's the it's linked to the nature of the event. Um, so the project team gathering for for those who don't really know what it's about, it's work events that uh, we the OpenStack Foundation is supposed to let the various groups of people that are openly collaborating on on OpenStack, but also other. Uh, other connected projects uh, to to work together at a face to face for for an extended period of time without too much distraction uh, by having something else running at the same time. So it's uh, it's basically a, a team meeting for five days who are highly virtual uh, and and uh, and distributed teams and. Uh, what I like about it is that since we didn't have a very strict schedule, you know, you don't you have five days, you have a, an agenda of topics you want to discuss, but you don't have this very uh, hour by hour play or 40 minute slot that you have to discuss everything in. Um, the, the fact that we had to transition to a completely different venue with different rooms uh, uh, on a very small notice did not completely disrupt uh, the event. And, and we had like very productive discussions today again yesterday uh, and I would say that it's uh, it's a testament to the dynamic nature of the event and how productive it can be. What are your impressions of some of the, the most exciting things that have come out of these meetings that we'll see coming to fruition over the next six months? Oh, so it's, it's always a very difficult question to, to try to get uh, outcome of the meetings uh, because since those are like more of team organization and uh, meetings, it's um, it, it's difficult to get like strong decisions or headline making uh, uh, changes. Uh, I feel like I was happy to see the values. Uh, uh, so we created SIGs uh, recently to, to make sure that uh, OpenStack developers, OpenStack operators, users uh, that are interested in a given topic can, can work together as a team. And that's the first PTG where uh, those teams could could meet here, uh, and I feel like so back in Denver, uh, we had, for example, a security team meeting, and the security team was only two people there, and they basically not have very very interesting discussions. And I and I went to the security SIG room here, and it had like users, developers, uh, operators of OpenStack that were all interested in security, feeling like they belonged to the discussion, and and they had like. Very interesting discussions on how to how to do uh, uh, like SSH and service in, in, in OpenStack, or how to s mitigate spectral and meltdown type vulnerabilities, and uh, so much more uh, wide-ranging discussions that that we did not have before because the team was mostly focused on producing code, security code, security libraries. So that's great. We had like the public cloud working group meeting here as well. So it's a working group out of the user committee. So it's not just for developers anymore. Um, and they had like great discussions on, on the cloud passport, on other initiatives that they are building to 
better online how the various open stack the public clouds work and how compatible they are with each other, which is extremely interesting. So the yeah, PTG is turning more into uh, uh, an event where any group of people that work to, works together on something can have a productive meeting uh, and, and time together. And it's in contrast with the summit or, or the forum at the summit where it's more about engaging with the rest of the community, communicating what you're doing with your, with your team. So one is very team centric and the other is very outward facing. And I feel like uh, keeping this separation allows us to, to do our best in both cases. Very productive work event on one side and a very engaging uh, uh, community outreach uh, uh, exercise on the other. And so you can prepare talks, you can give, you can have discussions with between groups at the, at the summit. And whereas here it's more, we need to get work done as a group for the next six months, who is doing this, who is doing that. How, what, what are the, how are we going forward on this particular issue, which has been uh, sitting on our IRC meetings agenda forever because it's so difficult to discuss in, in, in virtual environments. So it's really about making fast progress. And I feel like uh, this week was a success despite the, the open stack Armageddon in, in Ireland. <laughs> Can you give us some highlights of the technical committee, the TC meetings that happened this week? Uh, yeah, so we just we just finished the, the technical committee uh, uh, track discussion, which had like TC members, but also uh, other committee members interested in in governance issues uh, in uh, in OpenStack. Uh, we discussed a number of. of changes that we need to make to our process to, to better track those initiatives. So we discussed that we have a vision, a long-term vision for the TC. We have individual reviews on the other side that we're missing this connection between uh, how do we achieve the vision we have and, and, and turn it into resolutions that the TC will end up voting on. And it, there is something missing in between those. So we don't we don't. We are not making as much progress as we hope we would do in like last six months. So we need to better track those initiatives be between the moment they are in the vision and the moment they land in, in a code review. Um, we discussed uh, the idea of an extended maintenance uh, um, uh, window for for open stack stable branches. It's pretty common pain point that the upstream support for stable branches is only for uh, 12 months currently, 18 months maybe. Um, and that's the, basically the amount of time that the community can commit to support things. But we realize that that doesn't mean we should kill those branches by the end of that period. Maybe there is a group that is interested in maintaining those branch out in the open as a collaborative exercise between various organizations that contribute to OpenStack. Uh, and so uh, the details are still being worked out. There's still a few, a few uh, uh, policies to come up with, but the general idea is that we will keep those branches for extended maintenance if a group wants to maintain them. If like, the project team wants to continue to maintain them, they should be able to do it, uh, rather than have a blanket policy that says, well, after 12 months, it's done. We also said that Okada uh, we, we would try to keep it for 18 months instead of the 12 months that was uh, originally, originally, originally planned. Um, so it, it was set to be EOL after the Queen's release. So basically now, over the coming months, and we said, well, this is not corresponding to the way people consume OpenStack software. And we've... But we, we put in place a number of changes and processes and, and tests that make us make us way more um, confident that the, the stable branch can be kept for a longer period of time. So the stable team discussed uh, extending the, the, the Okata stable branch maintenance period to 18 months. It's not like voted yet. It's just a proposal. It will be it will be obviously on the agenda of the stable uh, team, branch maintenance team over the coming weeks. But that's, I think, a very uh, interesting outcome. It shows that OpenStack is more and more uh, driven by the needs of its consumers and not necessarily, you know, what developers just want to implement or anything. Do you think that the PTG will continue to look like this in coming cycles? 
Uh, so that's a, that's an open question. The, we we still need to. So the the PTGs uh, are really appreciated by the people that are attending them. Um, so whenever you survey the attendees, it's an extremely productive event uh, that basically make anyone who attend those a lot more productive for the coming six months. Like you you can easily be 30% more productive uh, by attending the PTG because you build a shared understanding with the rest of the team that will make any work you produce a lot uh, uh, a lot more uh, seamless experience getting merged. Um, so it's, it, anyone that, who attends the PTG loves it because it gives them this, this edge in terms of, of getting their work done over the, over the coming month. And the problem is it's, it's a self-selection, uh, there is a selection bias in that, in that survey and a lot, there are a lot of people that cannot attend for various reasons uh, the PTG and those feel completely excluded from the process. And so that's one piece of feedback we also need to, to uh, make the event slightly more sustainable. Uh, it's not an event where you can get a lot of marketing opportunities or you know, it's not, there are no, no booth, there is just people that are walking. And so we really are thankful to our sponsors for sponsoring the event, but they're just not as many as we hoped there would be. <laughs> and so we need to find ways to make the event more, the event more financially sustainable going forward as well. Um, so the board uh, on, on the Monday uh, board meeting decided that we should probably have a PTG in September uh, this year. Uh, so there will be a next PTG, uh, but we, we will, over the coming weeks, we will review, survey the larger community and, and try to have all the data to make an informed decision on, on what, the, what the PTG should look like going forward. We could, we could uh, uh, merge it back with the summit. We could, uh, we could make it, make it uh, like a separate event, but find another way of, of, of funding it. We could like host it in China so that contributors there are, have an easier time participating. None of those options are perfect, but we need to, now that we've done three of them, we can put that uh, on, on the table again, look at it, and you know, is it the way we wanted things to continue? Is it, or is, is, are there changes that we can make to make it more inclusive or more, more sustainable going forward? So yeah, there will be a next one. Uh, how that looks like in 2019 is, is uh, an open discussion that will happen in the community in the coming months. What else would you like to tell our audience? Um, it, will be, it was an interesting week. Uh, yeah. We had, uh, like, I think it, it helped the event in a way because it brought people much closer together. <laughs> uh, there is this sense of, you know, you, you've gone through hell with your friends now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously, people are not home yet. Uh, and we don't know if there will be flights tomorrow to go home, um, but I feel like it, it created a, a spirit that was interesting and, and that will uh, stay in history for uh, in the history of Office Stack. Like the Snoop and Stack event is now a trend, a trending topic on Twitter. I think um, so. I'm I'm happy that our community was so graciously adaptable uh, to difficult conditions. I'm happy for our events team. Which, they were amazing. Who had the really half were. time, uh, uh, you know, discovering that the events was, was pulled from under them uh, uh, without much control over it. It was great to see the staff at the hotel, the staff at the park being so uh, helpful and, and also flexible uh, to, as if we turn the hotel into a giant meeting room. <laughs> uh, and I feel like it's a good, great human story. Well, thank you so much for your time. No problem. And looking forward to the next one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> thank you, Rich.